we're recording. Hopefully you guys can see me. Okay. Hi guys. That took me forever, right? So, I am getting ready to go and get my hair cut off. What? Yes, um, it's so dirty right now. I probably should have washed it, but I don't know. I'm just like sick and tired of my hair. Like it is so unhealthy now. Like it's not even like it's not funny. It's not funny at all to me. Um, but I did just um, brush it out or whatever. Like detangled. I just detangled it um, so that. Cause I'm pretty sure at least this is what happened the very first time I ever like big chopped my hair um, she had to wet my hair of course to see like what all she was cutting off and stuff so I did um, I did just detangle it and you know, I just pulled it back into a ponytail that's why I'm probably looking real crazy but you guys have seen I mean my hair is just has been a hot hot mess and so I just really want to um, I'm just ready to cut it off okay so let me just give you all just a little backstory you guys know I like to talk to you I guess <laughs> I like to just talk when I'm driving um, to you and you know to share things so but yeah my um i've been putting this off for a really really long time i've been wanting to get my hair cut off for a while now for a few for a few months like probably a good year now um but i just kept putting it off and then like in december of last year 2015 i cut it um i cut a lot off because you guys know um, that it was like down my back but I cut it off um, up to maybe here something like here in my shoulder region um, so and I did that myself and it was fine like I was perfectly happy with the length and everything um, and I just wanted to kind of restart like trying to like get my hair back to you know it's healthy state um so and that was a start and then after i had Jaden in march april came i flat iron was wait yeah in april i flat ironed my hair of this year 2016 i flat ironed my hair and um i kept it straight for like almost two months like no lie like and it was like bone straight bone straight and I kept thinking to myself, like, why, why is my hair, like, it's not even reverting, like, normally, and it's, it's, it's pretty hot, like, it's not summer, but it was pretty hot, so, and, you know, I'm sweating, but my hair literally was, like, bone straight, like, it never puffed up or anything, it started reverting, and, like, it stayed like that for, like, two months, and then when I went to wash it, it curled up a little bit um i have a picture i may insert it um somewhere but yeah i have um i took a picture of i think this was like right after i flat i did not try to do a wash and go it looked so horrible this side no sorry my what side is this <laughs> my right side um was it's just completely like almost straight like just completely straight and it was so flat like in the picture i'm ashy in the picture like this side was almost flat to my head and this side had a little bit more volume because it didn't get as badly heat damaged like this side like my right side so i cut it and that's why if you see here this part is completely short um, because I I cut it trying to just cut the, the straight pieces, but that's how bad it was. And actually, it's a lot worse than this. Like this is it still had a lot of straight on it, but I was like, oh my gosh! Like I didn't, I didn't jacked my head up basically. <laughs> like it's it's so bad. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let her cut it off. I have a picture I'm gonna show you guys. I'll show you when I get there or whatever. Or when I, you know, pull over, I'll show you all like the picture or the style that I'm going for. So hopefully. 
it just be not really digging in deep enough like to find somebody but I mean I don't know anybody out here who does it so I'm just going to uh, super cuts there when I got my hair trimmed back in April after I after I flat ironed it there was a girl there who, who trimmed my hair and I wanted to go back to her but I already called she's not there today but the other lady sorry to say she sounds black and I just really would prefer her to do with my hair is just because I feel like she gets she, she'll understand like my texture my, of my hair and all of that I'm more comfortable with someone who has the same type of hair as me do my hair or cut in my hair or do anything with my hair and that's, that's just that so but that doesn't mean I won't ever let anybody else of another race do my hair don't get me wrong so just wanted to clarify that because you know don't want any misunderstandings, but yeah, so that's where I'm headed. That's what I'm about to do. And yeah, I'll check back in with you guys once I, um, I don't know, I may be bald again <laughs> when you guys see me again. So yeah. Okay, so I just got here at the place. I'm sitting in a parking lot. Well, obviously, I guess. But I want to show you all the picture. Um, what happened? It's so dark. I hope you be, you guys be, hopefully you'll be able to see this. I screenshotted this off of Instagram, but that, can you see? That's the look I'm going for. She's so pretty. I guess you can't really see it. It has like a glare or something, but. Yeah, I like my hair. I actually didn't even get it cut as short as I thought it was going to have to be cut. So I got it kind of like tapered. But yeah, anyway. Y'all. Maybe I'll just talk about this when I get home. But it was almost one of the worst experiences I've had with my hair in a while, I'll say. I've had one bad one. One that was pretty bad. It was pretty bad, but this one was almost like worse than that one. But it turned out okay. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and complain, but I like my hair and I'm glad. Okay, I'll just say this. If, um, if I wasn't getting it cut off, I would be really upset about the way she detangled my hair. Like, you can always tell, if you're natural, you can always tell with someone who, who you know, A, they're not natural or and B, they just don't know how to style or do natural hair. You can always tell by the way they detangle. Did that make sense? I think that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you can you can always you you know if somebody know how to do natural hair or not by the way they detangle it. There. And um clearly this lady she didn't know. But <laughs> um but it's okay. You know, and I, I also have to apologize, and I need to take back what I said previously about, like, a black person <laughs> cutting my hair, because she was black, but, yeah, like I said, not everybody knows how to handle natural hair, and my hair is, like, really thick. It's extremely thick, so I think that had a lot to do with it, too. But, yeah, anyway, I'm about to, it's now 6.30. I got there, like, was it 5? I think it was like five so it took like an hour and a, a hour and a half and I feel like this needs to be cut really dang it I feel like that needs well, maybe not maybe my hair is just really damaged she probably still didn't get everything off but it'll do for now if anything is better than what I had going on like just an hour ago <laughs> hi guys okay so it's the next day and I just you know for me cutting my hair so i'm gonna sit you here and hopefully like you can see yeah um so right now i'm at my mom's house so she can like watch um jaden and jc while i do my hair so um last night i shampooed it again because like i still you know like had hair falling out from her cutting it. She, 
I probably can hear my mom first, <laughs> JC. But yeah, so I um, washed it again and I put a deep conditioner in it, which I don't have with me to show you, but it's the Shea Moisture. It's like Mephora, Manuka oil, something like that. The little like tan brown one that you can find at Target. So I use that. I really, really love that conditioner. This is like my second time ever using it. And like, I don't know why I never tried that one before. Like I had, I've seen it plenty of times and thought about getting it, but I never got it. But anyway, so I brought my tools here. I got, I think I have everything I need. I think pretty much um, for what I'm going to do anyway. So, oh, actually I need to go rinse the conditioner out of my hair. This is how it's looking right now. It smells so good. But I slept with this in all night long, so. And I'm going to have to trim some. I've seen some edges or something. I look a hot mess. But uh, I'm going to have to trim some more off because I saw some more, like, straggly pieces. I actually trimmed some last night after I washed it and before I put in the conditioner. Um, but I'm going to have to. Yeah, do it a little, cut cut a little bit more off too. So anyway, let me go rinse the conditioner out and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. Um, geez, it looks like it got so dark, but um, I'm back. I rinsed out the conditioner and um, I'm about to Oh, I knew what I was gonna do. I just, I don't know, I had a brain fart. Um, I'm about to detangle my hair and I'm gonna have to like I said cut those little stringy pieces off so let me step back so this is how it's looking and I still don't know exactly how I'm gonna um, style it only because I forgot I am completely um, shedding like you know I'm still experiencing that postpartum shedding um, it's not as bad as it was. It was horrible about right when Jaden made about three to four months old. It was coming out in chunks. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, it was way worse than it was with Jay. But, yeah. So, that's how my edge is looking. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, let me detangle it. I have my, this comb for detangling. And I also have is uh, my demon so we're gonna see how those work out for me and oh my god that conditioner that deep conditioner is like so amazing oh my gosh okay so I just finished detangling like I decided to just wait on this part because I still see some of those straggly pieces even in the short parts which I thought she had cut that pretty good so I'm gonna take my the main choice um, scissors look make yes I'm really proud about these weirdly um, so yeah they got a little weight to them they, I've never had like fancy hair cutting scissors but I figure out in business some this time because I'm since I'm kind of starting my journey over okay so I just rinsed it again because it was actually a lot of conditioner left. So yeah, now I'm getting ready to style it. And then I just realized I did forget my water bottle. Which is probably really important <laughs> for what I'm trying to do. But um, yeah. Um, so actually I'm going to try and do me a, a wash and go. And I'm going to use my Camille Rose Naturals products. Looks like that. And the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Maker. Alright guys, so this is it for now. It's still wet, obviously. So I kind of tried to slick it back and, you know, I don't know. I feel like this part's going to be like, whoop, once it dries. But yeah, um, obviously this is my first time working with a cut like this. So yeah, we'll see how it turns out. And um, I'll come back on here and show you guys how it looks once it's dried. Hi guys. So I know 
I look crazy, but uh, yeah, I am getting ready to let my husband basically cut the rest of my hair off because I'm just not happy with it. And yeah, so I already cut the front down some more because it was like a lot longer. Um, but it's just, I just feel better starting all the way over. What? Huh? What you want? She always wants something. Huh? These scissors are really nice. Just the main choice ones. How'd you hit it? So yeah, I am, I just got out the shower and this is how it's looking now. Um, I ended up just, yeah, it's very uneven. So tomorrow I'm going to actually go to my husband's barber and just have him probably just shave it. <laughs> I'm just going to start completely over and yeah, and I don't feel bad. It'll take some getting used to, but I actually, I just feel so much better already. Um, this is all of the hair. Here's all of my hair. It's still a lot, like, OMG. It's a lot of hair, but um, yeah, it's all gone now. <laughs> but like I said, I feel so much better already. Um, 
one thing I didn't think about though was my postpartum shedding. <laughs> I'm completely bald. Like it looks worse now that my hair is wet. Um, when it was dry, it didn't look as bad, or maybe to me it didn't. Uh, but yeah, just completely bald. So <laughs> yeah, I think that's why I'm just gonna let him shave it. And well, definitely I'm I'm gonna go and have it shaved in the morning. And yeah, so this is it for now. I will see you guys. I'm gonna try and vlog um, tomorrow as well when I get it shaved and stuff. So yeah.